Hello, Aquarius. Yeah. Now, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. Yes, we are, all right? And welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you like it here. And if you do like it, come on, visit me on Instagram at 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time on Tuesdays for happy hour and answering questions. Now, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs, all right? So, happy Leo season. Call up your favorite Leo, a.k.a. hopefully it's me or your children <laughs> or your lover, okay? Because Leo's rock, and if you don't got one, go get you one because we're amazing. Anyways, with that being said, let's talk about the lineup for these readings. So, we're going to go into a general about what's going on upstairs. We're going to go into a general oracle, then we're going to break it down and go... Um, general love, singles, couples, and then all signs, okay? Everything will be time-stamped. You can skip and move forward. These are general readings. Take what fits and leave the rest for someone else, all right? Now, on the 4th, we have some beautiful energy, new moon in Leo, 12 degrees, big baby. We got new and exciting things happening. We're excited. We're focused on our dreams. Your dreams are going to be lit and very prophetic during this time, okay? Pay attention to them. Write them down. Keep a journal. We also have Venus entering into Virgo. Venus is a very aesthetically loving planet. It's about beauty. It's about money. It's a very beautiful planet. And this energy is entering into the sign of Virgo. So it wants to pay attention to the details. It wants to see what's really happening, what's going on, and how are we going to move forward? Does it make sense? All right. On the fifth, prepare yourself. It's Mercury retrograde four degrees Virgo. Now, this Mercury retrograde <laughs> is about foundational details, friends. You've got to decide, do we reassess? Do we reconnect? Do, what are we doing? Like, what is this about? Why are you coming back? Are we just fixing up the karma? What's going on? Okay. Now, on the 14th, Mercury retrograde enters into Leo. So this could um, also get a little spicy. All right. Maybe you're going to reach out to a Leo. Who knows? However, this is also like, pay attention to the community communication, pay attention to your emails, make sure that you're checking your emails, and technology might be a little bit crazy, okay? Now, on the 19th, full moon in Aquarius, you know, you know it's in your sign, 27 degrees, okay? Whew, you have got to work on your willpower, your alignment. How do you want to move forward? What is getting in the way of you accomplishing what you want to do? And sit with that, like figure it out. Because you could be getting in your own damn dirty way, okay? Okay, I'm just saying. Now, on that day, we have an important square going on. We have Jupiter, 17 degrees Gemini. We're trying to expand. We're trying to communicate. We're trying to to be where we need to be, right? And then it's squaring, so it's a little bit of a challenge to Saturn, right? And Saturn's in Pisces. So... This energy is kind of making you pay attention to you want to do this and you want to do that, but are you going in the right order? Are you following protocol? Your your protocol or your message is source energy comes down to card number 32. 32 comes down to a five. There's some major changes in your spiritual life. Also, prayer and meditation is going to be important. All those miracles you've been praying for. They're about to happen, all right? So reconnect with your source energy and move forward. Now, the 21st, very important day. Why? Because it's my birthday. <laughs> so if you want to send a birthday wish, please do, because I'd really appreciate it. Or you can go on to my link tree. I have my Amazon list. You could whatever. I'm fine with a happy birthday wish, okay? I'm going to be turning 44, big baby, all right? Now, on the 22nd, it's Virgo season. It's over for us Leos, baby. And on the 28th, Mercury goes direct, 21 degrees Leo. We are still in that shadow period. Communication, technology, just be on the up and up. And on the 29th, Venus enters into Libra. Very, very beautiful energy coming through for you there. The fifth could be very, very important for you. Your... Your rune <laughs> makes me think of my bestie, Jatera, because <laughs> it's Jera. It's Yera, okay? Yera. And this is tied to your harvest. This is your year, okay? It's about patience, faith, things coming to fruition, okay? The color for this is light blue. The herb is rosemary. And rosemary is a symbol of fidelity. It also is great for protection and cleansing, okay? Um, rosemary was also a plant that you would give to your best friends so that their house would be protected, all right? Now, 
With that being said, your animal energy is the hedgehog. It's so sweet. The hedgehog. Be a magnet for light, love, and joy. And Archangel Gabriel wants to come through and work with you. Okay? Now, with that being said, astrologically, you could be you could be a Gemini rising or moon or whatever. Or dealing with the sign of Gemini. Pay attention to where Gemini falls in your chart. It's telling you there's something that is going to cross-pollinate. Something that's going to go and and bless something else in your life, okay? And the third could be very important. Pay attention to your third house, okay? The third and the fifth. Now, when it comes to love, we have the Queen of Roses, and the Queen of Roses is a symbol of somebody wanting to get married, somebody wanting to have children, or you're wanting to do that, okay? So there's that energy coming through. And there's a lot of love coming in. There's a lot of fertility coming in for you. That's nice, all right? Invite me to the wedding. I want to come. Okay, let's see here. These cards are called Real Talk Tarot. My niece gave them to me. So, in your mind's eye, think of a question you want an answer to. Two questions. And the overall energy that we have is that of the hermit. So, I believe that you've kind of been a little bit of a hermit yourself. You've kind of been to yourself. You don't really want to ask for anyone's opinion right now. And you like your own company, Aquarius. You're like, I'm good. Like, I don't need to be out in the mix, okay? So, for question number one... <laughs> It's the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have a beautiful family. You are the family. You're enjoying it. There could be talks about children coming in, and the answer is yes, okay? For question number two, you got the High Priestess. You're a damn dirty psychic, or you're dealing with one, all right? And the answer is yes, too, because here you are understanding and trusting your, your intuition as you move forward. Very, very beautiful energy. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. What is the energy for Aquarius when it comes to love? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, let's see. Let's see. We got spy. Ooh, somebody is searching for you on the internet. Someone is spying on you. Okay, someone's got their eye on you and doing or you are doing your research on someone. Okay, someone has some financial issues, a gambling addiction and... We want to be committed anyways. We don't give a damn. <laughs> but give it time. Let things grow. Let it develop. Let it flow. We don't force. We don't force. We don't chase. We just attract. Okay? We just let it be. All right. What's this spy energy about? What's going on here? Who's watching us? Somebody from a karmic relationship. Okay? So either you have a karmic who won't let you go. There's also like a very intense desire to want to know what they're up to. Gambling, lack of confidence, self-sabotaging, frustrations, not enough, not enough money for gamblers, okay? And then the commitment, we're sad because something didn't work out, we're missing them, we miss our karmic, mm, what's going on, boo? And we're in separation and we're trying to stop our pattern in relationships where someone's also getting the silent treatment. Or are you giving the silent treatment? You know, I'm real good at silent treatment. <laughs> it's a skill. <laughs> Because I forget to talk. I'm like, oh, I thought I responded. Months. Like, damn, I messed that up. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. We have, for our beautiful Aquarius, the Five of Cups. Someone's very upset. They're sad that something's over. They're sad that it's ended. But we're going to be strong, okay? We got that strength of a Leo coming through for us. And we're holding it down, okay? We're going to cut off whatever needs to be cut off. And we're moving forward. We take it a break, baby. We need a break. And we're moving on. Six of swords. Things are going to get easier, okay? Things are going to get easier for you. Overall energy is the nine of pentacles. Some of y'all enjoy really being single and you don't want to give that energy away. There's also something about you really paid attention to your finances. Some of y'all are focused on your finances, okay? But we're very sad and some of y'all could be very sad about losing out on... Someone that made you feel very important, okay, or they're very sad about you, okay, because that strength card by the Five of Cups, and here you are like, you can't touch this, you can't have me, I'm not yours. Queen of Swords, what do you have for them? The Five of Wands, there's a lot of push and pull, running, chasing. Empress energy and something's got to change. This is somebody that you had a very close connection with. You thought it was going to go to the next level. However, you took a break and you moved on. 
Six of Swords, you're not sure if you made the right decision. You're, they're not sure if they made the right decision, but you did with the High Priestess. Okay, you're right. And you have a bright future in front of you. All right, so let's get into our singles read. Let's see what's going on with our beautiful singles. These are people who are just out being single, okay? Living a single life, doing their thing. All right, let's see here. Challenges. All right, okay. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. Oh, that's never fun. <laughs> Fire sign, Aries Leo, Sag. I was Sagittarius, okay? And I ain't saying she a gold digger, okay? But someone is after the money, okay? And there it is. Someone could be uh, finding out they're pregnant, okay? Or someone is expecting some good news. All right. Let's break it down. What are these challenges that Aquarius is experiencing possibly with a fire sign? Possibly, okay, possibly. Needing more time. You feel like you need more time. You need to heal. You're trying to move forward slowly. And this fire sign, okay, somebody is watching or looking at a fire sign. That's that stalking vibe. What is going on? And then gold digger, okay, evolving growth, new, new life. And then the pregnancy, so you might get a call. Hey, boo, I'm pregnant. <laughs> No, <laughs> we're not playing that game, okay? Anyways, so there's some really interesting energy going on here in the fire sign, sunglasses. I feel like there's a lot of heated energy there with this individual. Let's get into this read. What can our beautiful Aquarius... You need to make a decision, two of wands. How are you going to move forward? Somebody is watching, definitely watching. Mm, why you peeping me? Everybody knows that I'm a G. Woo! Seven of Swords. You must have seen something, okay? There's also like the Seven of Swords energy. It's like you saw some and you would like it. Walking away. We are leaving a situation. We're going to do it by ourselves. Nine of Pentacles. Done. Ten of Wands. Completely done. Okay. And we're finding our balance again. Okay, so there's definitely something you made a decision. You found out something. You walked away or they walked away because it's right over the fire sign energy. Nine of Pentacles here. We are trying to really focus on working on ourselves, but we are completely turning our back on a situation. Okay? All right, let's see here. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. What do you have for our beautiful Aquarius? Knight of Swords. We want to take control of a situation. We want to talk about it, be about it, okay? But somebody is not into it, or maybe it's you. Maybe you're not into it, all right? And there's that 4-4. Four, four. You could be seeing the number 4-4-4 four, four, four a lot. But this is about being bored in a situation, and you thought it would have been more fun to do something else, or they did, okay? Which leaves us at the Seven of Swords. There is some kind of secret coming out, okay? Whew! Death. It's going to change everything. There's that 444, four, four, okay? So we start over with the Ace of Pentacles because we want something to grow. Somebody was telling you, oh, yeah, I, I love you. We're going to get married. We're going to have children. It's going to be the best. And they were out living their most <laughs> not, not married life, okay? <laughs> they were doing the most. You're walking away, and you tell them the Four of Cups. There's the door, bitch. Okay, we're good. We don't need this. The hermit is here. There's also something about a move. Some of y'all could be moving. And there's a trip. Okay, somebody left after a trip. Somebody left after a trip. There's also this energy of a work situation because I have two tens in your read. So I do feel like if you could apply for a new position or something, it's going to go very well for you. There's a lot of fours in your read. So somebody is doing the damn dirty most. Okay, the most. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Know your worth, okay? Don't don't overgive in this situation and don't go back to something that is deceiving you, okay? Now, there is a lot of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy over here. However, I feel like somebody is trying to deceive you. Hey, let's go on a trip. Hey, come on. Let's go on this trip together. You're going to love it. It's, it's great. And the narrator says it was not great, okay? 
What is this um, energy about? Detachment and habits. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. I don't know if we will ever change. So I feel like you're completely letting go of someone who was holding back from you. You're trying to move forward. And then the Ten of Swords <clears throat> is you walking away. Seven of Wands. So I do feel like you are having some trust issues or they're having trust issues. Um, Three of Cups. Too many people were involved in a situation. And here's the King of Wands trying to comfort you. All right. Because we don't want to talk about the past anymore. We just want to enjoy the damn dirty present. Okay. We're like, no, I don't want to talk about that no more. But there is something coming from the past that you know you have to change. You have to move forward. This is a challenge for you. I keep seeing you turn your back on something. Maybe you always turn your back on something so that you don't become so attached to it. However, there's this vibe. I do see you embracing with a fire sign. I do think there's a lot of a connection between you and this fire sign. However, you know this free will, baby, okay? We ain't got to do nothing. It's your read, not mine. So take the parts that fit. Whoever detached from you, you feel like they're faking it, okay? And they're spying on you, and you're spying on them, and y'all just, y'all just watching each other, all right? <laughs> y'all might watch each other in the bedroom one day and be like, ooh, how'd you end up here? I'm supposed to be mad at you, <laughs> but you're not, okay? You enjoying yourself. All right, let's find out what's going on with this past person. Who are we releasing with the devil energy? Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. They want to tell the truth. There will be a revelation and they want forgiveness. Okay, there's a need for forgiveness. And it goes right back to those habits, like old habits. Okay, they're hard to break. What would they say to our beautiful Aquarius? What would they say to our beautiful Aquarius? I ran because I wasn't ready for you. Mm. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now is what they could reveal. And I underestimated the importance of you in my life. And that's why I need your forgiveness. Let me make sure my phone's not ringing. I can't go another day without you, boo. You deserve better than me. Yeah, okay. That's a little, mm -mm. I've been manifesting you. And the distance between us is killing me. So this person really misses you. They do want to. They do want to like make their wrongs right or whatever. Um, however you say that phrase, but they do want. They come to want to come forward to you. But let's see who who's new for you. Let's see who's the love interest for Aquarius. Who's got their eye on Aquarius? That's a good match. A good match for you. Okay, we got Cancer energy. They have brick house okay mighty mighty they got a nice little body they're stable ew, ew, ew. okay good energy leo very young fresh light hair light eyes very petite there's a, something about the 444 i swear so so far we got the third the fourth the fifth and the ninth okay the ring another leo energy oh no that's not leo energy that's libra energy hold on let me make sure because i forget do, do, do. Yeah, round, fair, fair skinned, light hair, Libra. And then we have the anchor. They're very curvy on the bottom, okay? Very, very curvy. Hips, tan, colored eyes, Capricorn vibes. So we have Cancer, Leo, Libra, and Capricorn. All right, they're a very beautiful individual. Um, are very handsome individual. The ninth could be very important for you. There's a lot of nines coming down. The 25th could be important. Okay, so let's get more clues for you, Aquarius. The house energy. What's going on with the house energy? All right, this person knows where you live. I'm just telling you, like, y'all been watching each other. Man, this kind of gives me, like, some creeper vibes. However, this person, you could have met them online. All right. <laughs> Be careful. The child comes out. They're, they got maybe like highlights in their hair. Okay, very beautiful hair. And they could have been in a very committed relationship, but now they're scared of commitment. And they want to go to brunch. Or you used to have brunch with them. You want to go to brunch with them. There's something about brunch, okay? And you guys met online or will meet online. Very interesting energy. Let's get some initials. Let's get some initials. Oh, wait. Let's get some signs. I already said some, but let's see. 
We have a Virgo, Virgo energy. We have Sagittarius. Grrr, I like Sagittarius energy. Um, Aquarius, another Aquarius. Oh, that's going to be a very interesting relationship. And Gemini energy. Okay, okay. Nice. Sun, moon, or rising. And let's see some initials here. What do we have here? I'm going to just grab a handful. That's too many. Okay, we got V for Valerie or Vince. We got an A for Ari, maybe it's me. We got an E for Elvira, I just like that name. <laughs> or Eve. H for Harry, Humberto, I don't know, and an I for Ivan. All right, and the word that it spells is I have. So you have more than enough people that are interested in you, okay? You little freak nasty. All right, let's get into these couples. Let's see what's going on with our beautiful couples, Aquarius. These are people who know they're together. How about that? <laughs> they know they're together. We have water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, being patient, mm, be patient, friend, and a date night, okay? Let's, you know, you know, date night, date night, and a gold digger again. So what's going on, guys? Are y'all like rolling in the dough, Aquarius, and people just want your money? Like, damn. What is the energy with the water sign? We have the clock. Okay, there's something about the clock. Aquarius, are you afraid that you're running out of time? Like, are you afraid that there's not enough time? I feel like Jesse Spano. There's never enough time. Say by the bell. Sorry, I'm old. Anyways, there's no time. There's plenty of time. Is the water sign rushing you? What's going on? Okay. Have, be patient because somebody has their poker face on like they're acting like they're not really that into you their name could start with a p or it has the letter p in it yeah they're not showing their hand they don't want to show you how much they like you or well, that's you date night okay date night going on over here because we're healing our hearts so toxicity addiction or abusive relationship by date night okay that's not healthy friend what are we, what are we doing here gold digger there's the love call okay someone's gonna call you and they want to make things happen so let's see what your person is thinking what do they feel about you what is Aquarius's love of their life person feeling disillusion four of cups um bored Almost like, should I stay single or should I be in a relationship? Maybe that's you. Maybe that's how you feel. Okay, remember, you can flip it. How do they see Aquarius as the Page of Pentacles? Something new, fresh, and fun. With lots of money. <laughs> and then this is like the second go around with you. Like, they're like, okay, look, I think we can do it this time because this is the Fool 2.0. So, like, the first one is a little perrito. It's a little dog. But this time, like, dog grown. Okay? They ready. They want to see you give more before they give you more. And they're not sure if they really want to fully commit with the hangman. Nine of Cups. Lots of Pisces energy coming through. Four of Cups. What do you have for us? What is this about? Those are those sunglasses. Look, somebody's been watching. Somebody's been looking. Somebody's been watching. Maybe they're just like stalking your social media or you're stalking the, theirs. Ten of Wands, it was a very heavy decision. Justice will be served. Yeah, they're upset. Like, they're upset about something they saw, okay? So this individual is very upset about something they saw. They're like, wait a minute, we're in a relationship and that's just not okay. Why are you doing that? Like, what's going on? That was like bad shuffling right there. Nine of Pentacles, what do you have for us? The Seven of Pentacles. Like, they were building, we're building, we're doing good. Seven of Wands, somebody's lying. And the wheel. Somebody got caught in a lie. Somebody got caught in a lie. I think you want to see it's a water sign, okay? Because I got the Knight of Knight of, Cu of Cups over here looking at me. The knave was there. So there's definitely something going on. There's also something about a trip. Like, oh, we went on a trip and it was just the girls. And then you find out it was not just the girls. It was not, okay, yeah, okay. So we got a commitment, we got the ring, we got a contract, we got a key commitment, a key contract and communication coming in from a entity, like a bank, uh, the government, something is a major entity coming through. And they're looking at this and they're like, the math is not mathing. It's not adding up, okay? Maybe that's you. Maybe you're like, nope, this doesn't make sense. Why do they see them as the page of pentacles? 
The Empress, they love the way you are with children. You really get them excited. The Knave of Wands, which is the third page. And then there's the sun. Someone could find out that they're pregnant. Someone could find out that they're pregnant. They also think that you're a wonderful mother. They also think that you're a maid or a father. Um, there's this beautiful energy about you. That's why they want to go for it again. They're going to go for it again, but they're not sure with the seven of cups, the five of pentacles. There's some financial issues going on. Six of pentacles. What's going on? We have the Six of Cups, something from the past, so they want something new. So this is like, can we do something different? Can we change the way that we're doing this? The Hangman with the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords. Okay, so some of y'all are dealing with an individual who is very attractive, okay? This person is very attractive. A lot of people have their eye on them. You know what you're dealing with. You hear that they're pregnant or they're pregnant or y'all are talking about children, but we're not sure about some legal standings, okay? But you love each other, the lovers, the nine of swords. Somebody has to move. And soon, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Okay, look, somebody made some bad financial decisions. We're going to get some information that comes in. We're going to go on a date. We're going to talk about it. We're going to be about it. We're going to figure out what's going on. There's this, like, really strong energy with, um, <laughs> with playfulness and too many people involved in our relationship. You know what you want. You know what you need. You're going to make this decision. Your partner has not, maybe isn't used to being like in a fully committed relationship. And they're kind of like, am I really ready to not be single? Is this really going to happen? But there is something about um, a lie about some form of finances or like maybe how much money somebody has. Okay. However, they're really into you, my love, and they want to move in with you. They want to make this happen, but they're acting like, oh, I'm good. I don't need this. And inside, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, Aquarius pick me because I love them. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going to happen for our beautiful couples. Give us some clues for this month for them. So we have the lady. This is your energy. Very nervous. Okay. Um... There's also a big burden that's coming in this month that causes a lot of confusion that is like you're holding it all in. It's like a secret for you, okay? And then here is the dog. There's also a friend who wants to help, okay? It's really important for you to reach out to your friends right now. And I do think that some, let's look at the journal because there's something that's going to expose, be exposed. We have the house, the bear, and the whip. So there's something about a workout partner. There's something about a very overbearing situation. And this person is going to confide in you. There's the, the new burden of luck. And there's, okay, look, now I got two women, okay? So there's also this energy of like, look, you might have children with someone else or something like that, and it's becoming a burden in the relationship. We need to talk about it. Okay, communication is key. Patience is key. Let's take our date night. Let's go talk about it. Your partner might think that your ex is a gold digger. Okay, like, damn, dude, like you already pay child support and you give money to the kids. Like what? What? You know, so there's some kind of issues going on there. So your, your partner is just like confused. Like, why are you giving this person so much money? So we need to talk about it and we need to see what's going on that's another vibe I get okay let's get you some oracle message that was a very intense read what do you got going on I'm gonna say pay attention to your money and don't share too much okay don't share your money a lot we have abundance coming in blossoming abundance your prayers are being answered that goes right back to the beginning of the read there was some financial constraints that was affecting the way that you could go out and the way that you could do things okay but you have to trust your intuition moving forward and don't be afraid to leave okay for something great, okay? You've been praying for it and there is a financial issue that's going to come to the forefront this month. So you need to look for other possibilities of making money, all right? So just a little bit of an awareness there, like when one door closes, another one opens, all right? So let's get into the signs we have the third the fourth the fifth the sixth the thirteenth the ninth the tenth and twenty five all right guys this is where we go from 
Aries to Pisces, okay? And we're ready with the number eight. So I'm cutting the deck. Huh. We feel stuck because we're bored. Aquarius, why are you so bored? What's going on? Play some online games. You know, I'm addicted to a couple of games. It's called Travel Town, Pies in Love, and some like matching game. I don't know, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can play them for hours. Oh, and a little piggy game. Like, I'm just like, I'm just be playing them games interchangeably. Realizing, oh shit, I need to go to bed. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Aquarius, you're super strong and ready to get the friction on. Okay. And Aries is praying about it. They're like, whew, I don't know if I can handle this Aquarius, but I want to invest my coins in them. Okay, this is something that could grow and develop. Aries is a very family-oriented person for you, and they have faith that it's going to work. They know love is coming. They are feeling it, baby. They are feeling you. You are the Ten of Cups. You're the family man, family woman, fully successful. Everything's going in your favor. And Taurus is holding back, okay? They're holding back. They kind of don't want to let you all the way in. And, uh-oh, my daughter. 15 minutes ago. Hold on. Okay. I'm real late. Okay, so there's also something about investing in a, tr uh, no, like, there's a trip. Okay, there's a trip, so I got thrown off. This person really wants to let you in, but there are some financial issues at hand. Here you are, you're healing, you're moving forward, and Gemini is not letting you. Okay, Gemini is like, no, no. <laughs> They're attacking you. There's some ego at play. People are not getting along. The third could be important. You're facing your fears. You're having the courage to move forward. You also feel like the underdog in cancer can't make a decision. They don't know what they really want with you. They want to cut something off. And there's so many red flags. We need to pay attention to them. And we need to watch our communication this month. Okay? The 10th could be important. You feel kind of like bamboozled, like shocked. Like you can't believe this is happening. And Leo's like, hey, let's have a baby. Let's be creative. Let's do this. All right, and what's going to happen? We need to change, okay? We need to change something. There's a big transition going on. The second could be very important. Here you are as the king of cups, full of love and ready to do beautiful things. And Virgo is not feeling it. They don't feel very grounded. They don't know what's going on, and they feel vulnerable. Like, they don't feel like you care about them enough, okay? The 13th could be important. You are conflicted, you're going through your emotions, and Libra is bored. Bored! Bored! Because you hurt them, or you hurt them, or they hurt you. There's a lot of pain here, we're arguing about it. I think Libra's walking away, the 15th could be important. Here you are, ready to birth new things, you're moving forward, you're looking good, alright? You're looking damn good, and young, alright, Aquarius. And Scorpio is trying to get you, baby. They want to communicate. But I feel like there's a lot of playing going on here, okay? A lot of playing going on between you and Scorpio. The 19th could be important. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You're focused on work, your money, your dreams. You're moving forward. You could also have possibly green eyes and Capricorn in your chart or, you know, a lot of Capricorn energy in your chart. Now, with that being said, Sagittarius is ignoring their emotions and feelings. I'm like, what feelings? I ain't got no feelings. Okay, so we gotta pray. We gotta pray to see if this is for us. And I do believe that you're very focused on the finances and Sagittarius refuses to deal with their emotions. We need to talk about it, okay? We need to talk, we need to um, pay attention to the messages. Someone's not talking like they used to and it's bothering us, okay? Now, here we are. You are the queen of swords, all right? And Capricorn is like, you can play with my sword, okay? Like, hey, let's do this. And we're also praying. I feel like in this situation, there is a lot of communication. Beautiful things are coming your way. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. We need to pray about deception. We need to pray about backstabbing, okay? A shocking attack. I feel almost like it is go like you guys are just talking, talking, talking. Oh, why is that there? An ending. Okay, so this is like, Capricorn feels like y'all are soulmates. You feel like you need to heal. Okay, so Capricorn might be rushing you to get back into bed. 
All right, here you are as the Ace of uh, so Wands reversed. You're not feeling this. And uh, the other Aquarius is not talking. And the solution is it's done. It's over. There's no, there's no balance. Okay, you are done. Lovers reversed. You feel betrayed. Pisces isn't talking. And the solution is move on with the Six of Wands. Your lucky day is the sixth. All right, my love bugs, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful month. Be sure to stay tuned. Come hang out with me at Instagram and take care.